Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank. Today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy. Let's go ahead and chop, jump in. Are there? Not jump, jump. I think I was combining jump and chop there. Okay. Preparing shaders took longer than expected. That's a little bit Hogsmeade. of a delay. All right. So gotta get the venomous tentacula and mandrake so i guess we just need to go find Welcome. the enemy first do let me know if i can be of any assistance at all i think that i've already got this in my inventory correct yeah okay so let's get out of here figured we could get into or out of the no fly zone Sometimes soon, but maybe not. All roads are leading to Hogsmeade. I know I could fast travel, but I just have a feeling I could get out of this more quickly and uh, get to an enemy of some sort. Man, I'm still in a no fly zone. Ah, oh, it's because of that dogweed place. Okay, um, let's just go ahead and warp out of here. It looks like it's going to be take me a while to get out of there, so. Let's see. I bet we could see some enemies in the Forbidden Forest. Wherever it is. There we go. What are you up to now? All right. Uh, here we are. Revelio. I should probably switch my spells over to something offensive. And there's these poachers. A duck bog. There you go. Hey, come on, I can get him. Good for you. This thing's bad. Let me also. Akio. Good for you. Incendio. Here we go. All right. So this next one is use Mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. Oops. There we go. Sure, there'll be a pair of. Um, spiders up here in the spider nest. Simon's all finished. Okay. We'll just see that and fast travel back to herbology. Actually, don't know where this is. Um, I guess fast travel is disabled while I'm in combat, huh? I don't remember it saying that it would do that, but that's how it is in most games, so we'll run away. Don't mind me, I'm too scared. As long as it says dueling feats, that means that we can't get away. Well, the music went back to normal, so surely we can now. Okay, then.
How nice to see you, my young friend. Uh, let's see. Ah, okay. Guess it won't give us the quest saying to advance the time, we just have to do it manually. to see you again all right let's learn when guardian of you sir i've completed my assignments professor pleased to hear it professor weasley will be too i'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along thank you professor professor heckett tells me she taught you levioso so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Okay, let's see. Net circle, triangle, X, square. Definitely need to do some uh, spell reassignments because I think that I want those down on the bottom or something. The levitation charm when guarding Leviosa can levitate and move objects. Control its position with your movement and use the D pad to fine tune its distance and rotation. Well, that's cool. Well done! Feel free to practice Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Wingardium Leviosa. You're a natural. Oh, nice. Can rotate. Let's see. Move it forward and back. Rotate. And press up and down on the stick to get it going up and down. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's... Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. Oh, let's see. I think it's just normal dialogue, so... Apologies, no Professor. Perhaps later. Not to worry. I'll be here if you'd like to talk. Okie dokie. So, let's get those spells reassigned. I think I want offensive combo damage stuff. I kind of like the idea of working from top to bottom if possible, so I'm thinking Levioso up top, followed by maybe a Confringo and an Accio actually down here, and an Incendio. So it just go, you know, clockwise starting at the top, and we can get some zaps in between, you know, those attacks as well. Okay. Now, for the last set, I think I want to do, I think I want to do this, like, this will be my first set, this will be my second on, on the right, the bottom will be my third, and this will be that. So I think, uh, remove requirement stuff, I kind of want to put up in here, um, and we'll just leave Accio there, because I don't think there's anything else to think about. Um, now here... I feel like could be kind of my utility stuff. So this is fighting, and this could be utility. Um, or it could be a second cell s spell set or offense, like this Glacius could be a good one. So we could do 
another set. Um, and this time, how about some Expelliarmus in here instead of the uh, Confringo or Incendio. So that'll be a second finding spell set. And down here, we'll have our utility, so we'll put most of these guys. Um, and, you know, Accio might go in here. Um, we don't use our uh, Lumos super often. So, man, 16 is just like not enough, you know, slots. I wonder if I can get any more, if they'll add like a paging or something, because I mean, we got 16, 20, 23 spells. And, I mean, that's seven whole spells. That's almost half of the capacity we have um, with no no way about it, you know? So, okay. Let's look and see what our next goal is. We leveled up? No. Um, let's see. What does Sharp want? He wants me to get a Focus Potion, Maxima, and Endurus. Okay. Let's go. I didn't mean to go to the map. We actually need to check my gear so we can see how much money we have. 13, 11. Um, I think that means that we should go to Hogsmeade and see if we can buy the potions that are needed. Um, and if not, we'll get at least one of them, hopefully. There's Maxima, Endurus, and Focus. Focus. Hogsmeade, here I come. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Save me a lot of time and trouble. Okay. There's Focus. And there's Maxima, so 1700. So we would need 1700. I don't know what the... Um, well, how about this? What about getting the potions herself? So Maxima is 300. This is 200 less than learning the thing. 800, so yeah, I think that's a little bit of a ripoff. Like, we'll go ahead and start oh, with this decision. and see what Thank you. the uh, ingredient list is. So, let's go in here and I think it shows up in collections, right? And then, yeah, so focus. Um, okay, well, we have enough to make that for sure, so. Let's go to the room of requirement and we'll harvest what we can and we'll also start that um, pushing up. Replant anything we need to. Weird, it's not letting me harvest. Um, let me see over here. I think something's wrong. It should have let me harvest. There we go. Huh. Oh, I guess it just didn't loop properly. Like I wasn't getting the pickup dialogue at all to begin with. Okay. Surprised those potions hadn't finished. Felt like we'd certainly been on long enough. Oh. Back out of there. Alright. Alright. That just takes a minute. Um, and I think that on the quest it was just use it period, right? So, Professor Sharps. Yep, focus potion. Practice flying near the spires and flying near Keenbridge Tower. What do we get out of this? Arresto Momentum. Maybe we'll go unlock that spell too here in a minute. I'll get that focus potion picked up first. Betting these will finish before that, so let's go get them. 
Darn, these hopping pots are taking forever. Let's see. Kind of feel like moving that identifier thing out into here, but I don't know. It's only a budget for a few things at a time. There's a, uh, you know, not a whole lot of reason to worry about much of anything. Um, let's see, statues actually. We do have a unicorn. We need that. I'll put it here. Okay. And what tables what do we have? Okay. Seating. I don't think you can actually use it either. An innovative chair. <laughs> um also interested in lighting of all kinds, so a gold herbology trophy. Um artwork. I'll just leave it alone for now. Rugs, leave alone. And how about utility? I already got the desk a description and refiners going, so. Alright. Um, I feel like there was one other thing we wanted. 3 or 3 have already been conjured. Um, where were our wall decorations? There we go. It's just the artwork though. I thought I'd also seen something else. Um, but perhaps not. I'm curious about this. If this is actual storage. Let's see. No. It's just a decoration. That's alright. Hey, I got a free uh, focus potion on that. Great. And an Endurus. So now I just need the maximum. So those hopping pots are going to be great for stuff like that. Um, I mean, that's going to be a heck of a lot of uh, savings, you know, not having to collect those ingredients will be time consuming, you know. Okay. Uh, so. Professor Sharps. Like, we gotta get that Maximus somehow, so maybe we'll just go do Madame Kagawa's to get something else going here. Um, this one wants to field test a Depulso, so I can't really do that yet. Okay. Um, trying to think what else do we want to do. I guess we'll get led out to where this mission is. Not doing beast class right now. I guess this is on the world map actually, so we're not gonna see it. Um I thought I would see like a flying um location. Oh here we go. right out of a storybook. Is this be another game of hide and seek with these uh, silly little balloons. Wonder if the quest marker will highlight them or not. Looks like it might be a linear path, so. Ooh. Boy, it got pixelated there a little bit. Oh, 
Uh, I can't believe I missed that. Bloop. How would you like to learn the knockback jinx flippendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. Uh, let's see. Ah, Cambridge Tower. Let's just go ahead and fly over there, why not? Well, that might be a while. Let's see how far away the warp is. Wish I had an unlimited stamina on the broom because it uh, really stinks to not be able to get where you're wanting to go, you know? Wow, this map is crazy. I don't think I've scrolled that far back yet. So this is going to be pretty close. I probably should have looked to see if I could have found a fast travel before I left that. I need to get more corners of the map marked out and everything. Hey, let me stay on the broom. That's nice. Taunt these guys. I don't know what level they are. Couldn't tell. Hmm. Yeah, these guys are too high. I was wondering if we could get a warning about that or not. Alright, let's go to Madame Kagawa. I guess we gotta get out of combat first. That guy really chased me. Okay. Let's see, there we go. Bell Tower Wing. Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop Quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Oh, it's like a capital M. Um, interesting. Oh, getting around that corner the best. It's going to catch me. <laughs> Love you also. Oops, I meant to accurate you that. Resto momentum slows the motion of enemies and objects. The larger the target, the less effect the spell will have on it. Okay. Very good. Akio. Spell as much as Akio. Akio. 
Interesting. You can quick cast Wingardium Leviosa by holding in. Weird. I'm not exactly sure how I'm doing that. Accio must have a map to Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Whoa, I'm just kind of shocked by that. Well, that is so cool. Um, let's get Resto Momentum out though. We'll go over, I guess, to our utility. I think one of these had an extra. Maybe this one. Um, Resto Momentum. There we go. Resto Momentum. That's it. Keep it up. Very cool. Ah, it's a level two log. Okay. Complete four assignments. Top of the class ensemble. Okay. Here are we leveled up. Yeah. Let's see. Fringo impacts produce fiery bolts that seek enemy targets. That is tempting. Shark enemy frozen by glacius blast damaging shards outward from the target. Let's see. Descend to slam. I'm not sure. Let's check out dark hearts. Actually, I want to check out these. Curse effect remains long longer. Rest of momentum has the same effect as a curse. Okay. What about these guys? Hmm, that might be a good one. I don't know, that stupefy one sounds pretty good. I might go for it. Is there anything else? I just don't care about potions a ton yet. I mean, maybe I will a little bit later, but I think for now I'm going to invest in uh, uh, this one, the stupefy booster. A little bit of a Weird one, I think, but it would be just nice to have like Protego really pay off, you know, extra when you use it. Uh, let's see. Here's my preppy top of the class look. Okay. Quest time. Garlic wants me to grow and harvest fluxweed and acquire all three combat plants and use them simultaneously. All right, well, it's going to take time, so I just need to get to Pulso and acquire Maxima and Endurus potions. Um, so we got the Endurus and that, but the Maxima is still the problem. Let's see what our money is at and if we can sell some gear. No, we don't really have anything yet, so I feel like we kind of got to make a quest. think that these are open objective like I can't oh maybe I can trace them I didn't think I could maybe I'll do a few of these and collect whatever goods along the way I can and it'd be awesome if I get Nine and get to have uh, Lohomora too. Another 200 away. It's going to take a while. If you beat him in the other but oh well. I might run into a lock or something that I can open now that I couldn't before. So we'll do it if we see one. Haven't roamed the halls of Hogwarts in a little while anyway. So 
think it'll all work out. Didn't mean to curse you. Do you need to do those uh, butterfly tutorials? Not tutorials, quest. I'm so out of it. Right. Just down the 60 or so meters or whatever that unit measure is that they're using. I don't think he actually explicitly said. Okay. Duncan owes his reputation. <laughs> yes, to you. I told you. You're very clever. Clever. Ah, oh, is that it? It just leads me to him. Ah, bummer. Okay. Yeah. So you really do have to kind of look up a guide for this, I suppose. Ah, not really in the mood to do that kind of quest. We have to look specifically. I thought it might be that way, but wasn't sure. Broom enhancement, that's going to be like a thousand, I think. And this one, forest, bridge, and candles put into your bag for reference. I may have to look that one up. Um, I think I'm just going to go to beast class because, um, you know, it's time to shake things up. Kind of feel like I've explored some of this enough. Here we go. All right, beast class. Wake up, Mr. Wandsmith. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Ah, oh, let's see. So you gotta assign it to a uh, spell slot. See, that's awkward. Like, I'm kind of surprised they don't have something like, I don't know, R3 or something. The controls are just a little bit overloaded. There you go, Gerald. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? Okay. Here you go, Gerald. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way, the measles are over here.
Oh, couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jeeks. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Oh. What in Merlin's name uh, are you doing? Uh, tush, tush, peculiar Poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. Here comes the Smackdown. Uh, let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Eat up, Measel. Eat up. Okay. Good kitty. <laughs> Little bee pet. Really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Okay. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Hey, over here. Come on. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Okay. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. Mm, so let me have animal Quite stuff. the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Let me go ahead and assign this. Oops, that's what we want to do. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. S 
Stand back. Oh, hippogriffs. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Bow down. Time to bow again. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. <laughs> so, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Okay. Another main quest down. I think I already did that one. Okay. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll go back to quests. So, how many money do we. Nope, this is 111. Okay. I guess let's do this one. It's gotta be near the Forbidden Forest. At least I think it would be. I don't think that it's trackable either. Oops, map.
What are you up to now? Hmm. Let's see. I, mean, I could be wrong, but I do think this is for uh, forbidden forest. And I'm trying to remember where was it? I think it's an in inventory where we saw that illustration. Two pages, map of floating candles. Maybe it's nighttime. Hogsme Graveyard? There's a bridge? Okay. I think I'm pretty close here, so. Yeah, let's just fly up over here. I'll take another look at this uh, picture. Wonder if I have to cast Lumos near the bridge. Hogs me won't have uh flying, so I'll have to dismount here in a second. Bong Alright. Okay. Now this looks like the bridge. Yeah, this has got to be it. Come on. Come on. Maybe. All right. Let's go to the map and wait out till nighttime. Oh, I see the floating candles. Maybe. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Maybe not. <sighs> okay, I think that would leave Hogsmeade, so... I don't want to get down that water. Hmm. Still gotta find out where the bridge is though, so I'm trying to stick to the more waterfront areas of Hogsmeade. Never heard anything in here. Won't let me in. Okay, it's feeling very much like we're on the edge of the outskirts, and I do know that there is. It kind of looked like the graveyard was being shown in part of this, too, so. Hmm. How many times I'm going to run right past the location? It's bound to happen at least once. <laughs> I don't even really feel like the graveyard quite yet. I want to look at the map one more time. This looks like a headstone. if it's at the magic neat like right over here maybe let's do that
Yep. Okay. I think this is it up here. And I think this is the the bridge. Rebellion. This has got to be the bridge. Oh, I saw something new spawned. Okay, there are floating candles somewhere, right? Here is the cemetery. Targetable anyway, so I should have known better. Revelio. But hey, maybe this is it. No. Something back here. The tomb of the villager. I wonder if this is where I'm supposed to go. Hmm. I feel like I'm about to do some grave robbing. Oh, there's some enemies on here. How exciting. Oh, plus six. be good to get us some goods and maybe have enough money to buy something at the end of the stream. Oh, holy moly, what is Rebellion. that? I have no idea how I'm going to get down here. Um, let's see. I wonder if there's a spell I need. Oh, there we go. That was a creepy noise. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can do some Petrificus Totalis on them. Damage a frozen enemy. Stake coming here. You let Nora Treadwell go, didn't you? Leviosa. <laughs> Instead, you got back right now. Confringo. You, you won't knock this one loose. I've had enough of this. <laughs> Leviosa. Release me. Confringo. <laughs> you just wait till I come down. Oh. You're no match for me. Leviosa. <laughs> How is that? I, uh, That's just the messed up and I had my Glacius unmapped, I did it. so I got distracted. Ash wine no less. Um, let's get our spells remapped, so, yeah, distract me, darn it. Um, rest of momentum, and we need our Glacius somewhere, how about here? Okay. I may end up having to just put my Rebellion. utility spells, you know, on demand on like last one or something, because I'd really like to have like this a hardcore uh, combat setup, you know. Oh, interesting. So is this going to test our wit somehow? Uh huh. Figure that one out. This is feeling kind of like a Zelda dungeon. Levioso. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Hmm. Here we go. Huh. 
Okay, I assume it activated because there's looks like there's magic going between it now or something. Um, I would think that I could go back over here, perhaps. Maybe something is different. Huh. I wonder if they bombarded for this or something. Huh. I wonder if I'm even ready for this place because sure doesn't feel like I'm there yet. Hmm. And maybe I'm not. Rebellion. I don't know what else this could be. Like. get it. I need to uh, put it, maybe I can put its weight over on this. I have no clue, but well, that would just transport it back over, so much of a point in that. Um, I wonder if it's supposed to be in front of a statue, perhaps. I'm just going to miss this for like another minute. And if it doesn't go anywhere, we'll just move on. Yeah, I have no clue. Um, and that looked vaguely like it did something. I don't know. Maybe it's something I'll learn about later. Maybe I'm not ready yet. We'll look around for another minute or two and see what we can find um, for this quest. And if we don't get anything, I guess I'll have to think about what to do next. Hopefully it's still nighttime outside. Here's another interesting bridge. Revelio. Looks like there's a treasure nearby. this chest it's over there hey hello, hello Morris. Morris so maybe so Well, that 
on its own. It's couldn't like quite keep it steady. Felt like it was extra right sensitive. Now, dummy guys. Okay. Well, nice. Um. Revelio. Yeah. Well, this is pretty apparently off target at this point, I'd say, but we'll just go ahead and take whatever else is in this poor person's house. Name it for ourselves. Thank you, whoever lives here. <laughs> we appreciate you. Rebellion. Right, what is this one? Love it if it's another 500. Miss Peck from Brood and Peck said a customer lost a deer call around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought. You could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. There we go. Revelio. There you are. Oh, finally. I'll have enough for that wind whip. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it. As always. Hmm. This is hard locked. Let me think. Really don't know where else to go. Um, you know, I thought that... that that bridge up there would be it, but let's look at this one more time. I just feel like I'm overlooking something massively easy here, and it's gonna be so embarrassing if I look it up. Um, it's multi span. Maybe I just need to use Lumos there, and something will happen. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Okay, so this is the multi span. Revelio. Now, let's just try doing Lumos. Lumos. Nope. Well, that is weird. I'm gonna go ahead and look this up because I kind of need to complete this quest. Spare with me. in the Allery. Okay. Um, so it's apparently by house is how this one works. So different um, groups will get different things. So that's fascinating. Since I'm Ravenclaw, I think it's supposed to be at the Allery. So I kind of hate to have to look it up, but this wasn't really making sense to me um, where this is going to be. So... Let's see, I thought this was the Allery over here. Maybe it is. Maybe I just need to go to the Hogwarts map and that'll get me where I need to go. Yeah, I think this might be on the way to the Allery.
Ah, getting the map is how you do it. But you actually have to go to the Forbidden Forest. Man, this is a confusing guide. I really am missing game FAQs right about now. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the world map. We'll head to the Forbidden Forest. Said that travel broadens the mind. Okay, now we need to go to night time. how I think Lumos assuming it's night time maybe it's not let me double check we're looking for candles to appear somewhere It's just not dark enough yet. Lumos. <laughs> Cracks me up, but it actually has a cooldown time. I love the sound effect it makes. On another adventure, are we? I'm pretty sure that that's a bridge here. I'm just double checking, but I don't see another one. It matches the description. Revelio. Hey, I like money. Well, I think we just kind of got a bad timing with everything, so let's go raid in the forest for a minute or two. Maybe take out a few more spiders. Oops. Um, actually, do not want to be here. I want to be here. Pretty well, there. Nice. Who's next? Looks like there's like two spiders Rebellion. this way or something. Fighters. Accio. Places. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Accio. Places. Expelliarmus. <laughs> I think Expelliarmus on animals is pretty hilarious. Oh man. It looks like it's just getting brighter and brighter. Uh, let's see. I 
I just wish it was more clear which way it was doing. Okay. This is night time. I think that we can agree this is night. Hopefully it's not too late. Okay, we're down here. Yeah. Okay. Lumos. Uh -huh. Enchanted candles. Wonder where they're heading. My dearest Apollonia, would you care to join me for a picnic? I know you enjoy a good Cornish pastry. Pasty almost as much as you enjoy a good mystery. See you soon, I hope. Yours, Richard. Okay, so now I just need to follow the candles. The candles seem to be leading into the forbidden forest. Playful little things, aren't they? Ooh. Running off. The treasure oh. must be nearby. More candles. I suppose a picnic in the Forbidden Forest could seem romantic to some. Treasure hunting suits me. <laughs> oh, cool. Let's see what that puts me at money wise. It looked like 400 bonus, yeah. And I think we have a couple of things to sell, so that's excellent. Not well, both of these are downgrades, so it's at least two things. I think I have a, maybe a third and a fourth as well, um, which means we should be good now for um actually let's make that quest yeah that quest is definitely done so let's go back to hogsmeade and we'll see if we can now buy the uh potion recipe for maxima i think is what we were missing and if we get that we can go ahead and get our potions made and i think complete um sharp's quest Hogsmeade, here so I come. that would be really cool. I'd love to have the Depulso. Okay. This is exciting. Here you found a bit of treasure in the forest. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Okay, you're a downgrade. You're a downgrade as well. Downgrade. And same thing with you too. Okay. We don't want Thunderbrew, we don't want invisibility, we want Maxima. A wise decision. Thank you. That sounds nice, so we're close to being able to afford both. So I'm gonna wait because I'm I pretty sure we see have you again. some sort of plant to grow or something. Um for now, let's go ahead and get back. Well, I guess we need to check our recipe. So, Maxima. What is the Maxima potion? It's actually in collections. Tools. Maxima. Oh, just leech use and spider fang. Of course. It's elementary. Let's go to Hogwarts and Secret Rooms. Room of Requirement. We should have a couple of potions to harvest, so one of them might end up being Maxima. That would be good luck. Nope. That is okay. Do we already have fertilizer on it? Maybe we'll do that to Tentacula too. 
And what is this? It's Dittany. I think we won't fertilize it. Alright. Maxima. It only takes 30 seconds here. Let's see. I wish it would tell you how many you have in your uh, possession. I'll do one more maximum to you. Hmm. Sound watching the animations. All right, potions. I bet they don't take too long for you. It's like a couple of minutes. Faster, faster, we need another master. Let's check out Sharp's assignment. Focus, and then Maxima and Endurus. Okay. Okay. And then Maxima and Endurus. Oh, cool. I wonder if that didn't count because the other potion was in effect at the same time. I bet it did. No? They let me through. Okay. Um, here we go. That's exciting. I think this is the closest waypoint. That's really cool. I don't think I've noticed this one before. I wonder if he only plays at night. Oh, what are you doing out here, buddy? class. Man, somebody needs to make a uh, mod for the PC version where you just call out the spells and the character casts them. I bet some way somebody can make it work. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. <laughs> I suggest having a go at the enchanted books. <laughs> All right, so it's this one. Oh, 
would be pretty funny actually to assign like an Accio and a Deposso the same and maybe a Levioso and I don't know like a Confringo or something that would be pretty fun to like kind of swat an enemy back and forth Oh, I guess I held it too long. Well done. Accio. Depulsa. Accio. Depulsa. Accio. We die Pulsa. Still at it, I see. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. Confringo. Depulsa. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Okay, nice. How much money do we have now? 1540. Oh boy. Holes burning in my pocket to go buy something. Um, maybe we can check our quests again and see what's left here. So we have to get um, all three combat plants and use them simultaneously. So that'd be the Chinese cabbage, the tentacula, and the mandrake. So we may have some seeds to buy. So this would be um, at da -da -da. Magic Knee per Dogweed and Deathcap. So let's go to Dogweed and Deathcap because I think they may have what I want. Hogsmeade. And I think after I plan it, we'll probably call it a stream after that. And they're up here. Okay. This will be perfect timing. I think it'll put us right at an hour and a half after I find uh, the seed I want. So I'm pretty sure I don't have Does it get one of them. Does get cozy than Hogsmeade? Maybe I do already have it. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure the easiest way to check. I guess it's probably a, connection, a uh, collection thing now. So we might as well check here since Welcome. we're already here too. Come on in. Now, where was I? Right. Oh, Fuck yes. Swede. <laughs> Not grass. No uh, sweet trouble pig. Um, well, we know flex weed. It's gonna now, be part of let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Okay. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Now we'll go up over here. There's the tentacula, the mandrake, and something else. Um, tentacula, mandrake. Yeah. I don't know. See, I think this is it right up here. Yep. Oh yeah, the Chinese chomping cabbage. That's it. I don't know why, but that took me forever to get there. Come on in. Oh, not so fast. I don't think I bought the seeds for the chomping cabbage. Yep. Venomous tentacula. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Okay. Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. What do we have? So we just need to get the Chinese chomping cabbage. Okay. So let's fly back to our secret area. Okay. Let's see, none of that's ready to harvest. Oh, well, these are already nice. What about our potions? So that five minutes left on. I think I may have an unidentified garment. Let's double check. Nope, maybe not. That's Dittany. I wonder if we need to do Dittany or Mandrake. I guess we'll put a Mandrake in there. So that'll be a little bit more useful now, I think. 
Um, well, actually, well, let's see. We've got one coming up soon, but I really just need the Chinese chomping cabbage. So I kind of hate to empty a tentacula, but we need it. Okay, so that's going to take 12 minutes, and yeah, that'll be a little while. So why don't we spend our last two or three minutes here um, doing some rearranging. And I'll start off with, um, not to get our spells out, so let's go to our utility area and we'll set things. Okay. Um, I think first off I'll... Well, I messed up one of these spells. Hold on. We'll do this, this, there. Okay. I've an Esco that, and this as well. Okay. And let's go down here. And I want to conjure up another plant thingy. Okay, these are medium, let's see, large chopping stations. Okay. Two large pots. Okay. And we have up seven, so let's get these going. Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn to findo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object that can be a powerful weapon when needed. Okay, we need to leave just enough room to have a walking path. This is going to be cool. I don't know if this is the most... Oh, we can actually double them up because we can just come on their side. So that'll be more efficient than um, leaving separate walking space for no reason. Ah, we've reached our budget, so that means we should start moving. So let's do a move of this one. There we go. I think now we'll be able to make just about everything we want. And this small one, I guess we'll keep it for the heck of it. Maybe we'll plant some of these other things. I guess we'll just work our way through the list. All right, we did a Dittany. I wonder why, I guess we haven't bought a mouse we got. That makes sense. And we've got the mandrake and the other one. So the cabbage, we'll go in this one. And this one will get flux. And then we'll get tentacula. This is quite fun. More Dittany. More mandrake. Cabbage, flexweed, and tentacula. Well, that went up pretty nicely. That was almost a little bit of a uh, zenful moment there. Okay, now what about potion stations? I feel like these T-shaped ones are pretty nice because they have the space we need on them. Um, and I think we've already reached our budget on that, so let's see, we can have seven of the T-shaped ones. So that's pretty good. Um, this only has one, so let's go ahead and conjure up a few of these. We've got enough Moonstone to do, looks like, five more, perhaps. So we will be cooking all kinds of potions. Okay, um, what are we looking at here? I know we have a budget. Oh, seven, okay. I was reading right past it over and over. Sometimes after gaming for an hour or so, I just like get a little bit cross eyed and think that um, it's just a eye fatigue, you know? Now, why are we rotating? Um, oh, L1. That's why. Okay, 
so we met our budget. Um, now let's move some things. Um, I want to go ahead and Evanesco this little one because I don't think it'll be that necessary. I'd like to move this guy out towards the edge and we'll move this one as close over. I'm going to have to experiment, but I'd like to have this one next to it if we can fit it. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, let's see, can it go all the way on the wall? No. So that's going to be just a little bit off. Um, let's see how many more we got. Three. So this one needs to line up first. Just kind of plop it down. Okay. All right, good. Now we'll plop this one under. Okay, so that one lined up, right? So we should be able to get this one to line up too, I think. Maybe that's exactly one unit further. Weird. Um, oh, did I not conjure the same style on this one last? That's what it is. Okay. So this is a different style and I think it takes up like another half unit or something. So that's why that didn't work. That's fascinating. I. I did not know that they could potentially take up, you know, more or less space. So that is very, very cool. Um, now I'm interested in checking out their designs because, you know, there might be a possibility to do something a little bit different than expected. That is fascinating that it just won't quite line up the same but I don't know it's a little bit rough that they didn't make things squared off I think that they would have been able to pull it off but you know Animal Crossing I guess will remain the king of uh, this style of you know gameplay <laughs> at least for now till they patch something we're good having all those potions really light up. This may have been enough time to get a harvest in and yep. So I think that we kind of have our stuff reset. Um, let me see. I think that I just needed what one more thing? A Chinese chomping cabbage. So that one's four and a half minutes out. Okay. What else? We could probably make four and a half minutes pass by pretty quickly though. Um, Let's look at what else we might want to conjure on the herbology side of things. So this is small table. We never bought the medium. We have used up all of our um, large pots and the chopping stations. Huh. And plant ingredient. So I think that's for potions, if I remember right. So we could put, we've already got seven? Uh, potting table, period. Okay. I think that's what that is, right? Let me double check that, my thinking on this one. Whoops. Potting table, seven out of seven. So it's gotta be, because it's little one, two, three, yep. So we could get another large and that would be ideal sized. So yeah, we'll harvest this mandrake, then we'll put in our seventh table. Um, okay, it's making sense now. I think that I thought we had a budget for each kind of table, but you don't, you only get uh, seven across the board, so. And that's okay. I just uh, didn't fully understand. 
We grow by learning, don't we? So I guess getting large tables is still the best deal. And uh, I have to look at those other table types here in a second, but okay. So we need to Evanesco. I guess it won't let me until I empty the pot, which is good because that would be a frustration otherwise. Okay, so let's go back in here. And I feel like these may have had three. Now they just have two. Two pots. Now with three medium pots. So this may be the ultimate harvesting way. Um, but I don't know. Two large pots have the diversity of putting absolutely anything you want in there. I mean, that's, I think, undeniable. So we'll just go ahead and conjure it and then maybe we'll do an alteration. Um, how could we kind of jam the seventh in here? I don't want to have to walk around all this. But I guess technically uh, just one of those is reachable. Um, hmm. I might as well have a straight shot. I can make it kind of like a maze-like configuration, but I don't think I like that. Um... For now, let's see about rotating it and putting it against these two. Yeah. It's not a perfect match because there's a little bit of space, but this will work. So, um, let's go ahead and put in, I don't know, some more tentacula and some cabbage. All right. The cabbage should be done any minute now, surely. I'm gonna save the fertilizers for um, when I get those other two. I saw three minutes on one of the cabbages, 2.45. I feel like there's one that was sooner than that. Uh, 10 seconds, good. I think this is the last one I needed. Okay, let's see what do we have now. Um, a one, got one, one, and five. Now let's check our quest. Oh, acquire all three combat plants and use them simultaneously. Okay, so go here, and then we'll go over here. Then we'll go here. Okay. Well, I think I'll go ahead and go to Professor Garlic because I would like to uh, get that mission completed. Didn't intend to go much longer, but I don't know. It's exciting to get another um, spell down, you know. I think it might make four for tonight. Um, so it's feeling pretty good. I know there's not... You know, too many left, but still exciting. Well, I tried to go over there. I think I'm gonna hit X or something. Nope, that's gonna be it. Library annex, um, greenhouses. Yep. I think I, I just get really tripped up that you don't press X to do the fast travel, but you actually have to hit square, and it feels a little bit unorthodox to me. The mind. Maybe they're just trying to prevent people from leaving what they're doing or something by clicking through the menu too quickly. If they're putting in some uh, friction on the controller there for a reason. I'd be very interested to learn if that's the case because I feel like I could be right, but I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a game developer. Now I'm wondering if I'm heading to the right place. This can't be it. I mean, maybe it is. Oh, it's because it's nighttime, probably. It's 
Something is a pink pink sentence. Maybe this is her nighttime path or something. going on but I'm in for the ride. This is bizarre. I wonder if I've hit a bug that somehow like recurses through uh, Hogwarts as if it were a maze. <laughs> And it just takes me wherever. <laughs> okay, well, we're still tracking something. Whoa, what in the world? What? Uh, I think I just got trolled, man. I mean, it's saying to go here. Greenhouses, please. I don't know what happened. I must have put a custom quest marker on it and it led me to that because I'd marked something um, while the quest is active. But guide. I thought if you had like a side quest active, it would prioritize that. But I guess custom marker gets priority. Maybe you should, they should make the color different for the trace, you know? I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful! I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. Didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few parts. Wonderfully done! If you'd like to practice... Okay, let's see which one of you would be good for this. Maybe this one. We'll just zap people and do all kinds of nasty so stuff to me. That's pretty funny. Can we just keep something in the air for like a million years with this? Yeah, that would be pretty hilarious. Call it the air manipulation uh, combo set here. Man, I am so interested in studying the uh, combos and making my own, but this sounds amazing. Uh, yes, the greenhouse won't keep itself in order. I'm actually pretty proud of that one. From me. Um, well. I think that, that may be a great stopping spot. Like I could keep going because I think that now I have enough money and resources to do another thing or two. I'm at 590. That's not as much as I thought. I actually thought I had um, a little bit more than that. I thought I was up to 1500 or so again. But I did complete a challenge. So let's go ahead and clear these off at least. And I like ending the night with, you know, these things checked off. Uh, it's another gear appearance award. Um, and another gear appearance award. So you had so many things or appearances and not like actual new stuff. Um, it's a little bit of a bummer. Okay. All right. Um, I only have that one talent and I kind of want to hang on to it. Actually, let's see if there's one about flip endo somewhere. Or pulso, additional blast, fringo. Glacius. 
It's funny, Armus. The Pendo has the same effect as a curse. Okay. I think I'll go ahead and do it. Because I'm going to get another talent soon enough. So that would be pretty cool. All right, inventory. The love letter. Yep, I've seen that. Okay. And a new assignment. Oh, another Professor Sharp, so I gotta get invisibility and Thunder Boo. Okay. Um, that's feeling pretty good. So we cleared out a good few, several of these missions. Um, so we got three keys left to find. And um, I'll try to save up and get this one, the Broom Enhancement, because that's only 400 something away. Um, for now, I think we'll go ahead and. Roll credits and say thanks for watching this spin S tier rank. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube at S tier rank. And I will have a replay up on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good one.